Welcome to Elgato Stream Deck. This is an introductory video to help you get familiarized with the Stream Deck app and show you the basics on how to set things up. We have plenty of tutorials going over more specific features of Stream Deck and how to set up specific actions, so we recommend you check out our Stream Deck tutorials playlist on our YouTube channel. But before doing that, let's take a tour around Stream Deck. After downloading Stream Deck software for Windows or Mac and plugging in your Stream Deck device for the first time, you should see this on the Stream Deck app's home page. On this home page, we have a few sections here. First, on the right side, we have the Actions list. This is where you'll find installed actions ready to be added to your Stream Deck. They're organized by category, which can be expanded and retracted, and up top, we have a search bar where you can search for a specific action to save time. And finally, this menu icon here allows you to show and hide installed actions in case you want a more streamlined list. Moving on, we have the Stream Deck Canvas. This should look familiar as it's essentially a snapshot of what your Stream Deck looks like. So essentially, what you see on this canvas, you'll see on your physical Stream Deck. To add actions to your Stream Deck, you simply drag an action from the action list onto the space on your canvas where you'd like to place said action. And it's as simple as that. And if you dragged it onto the wrong space, you can always click and drag it again to get it to the right space. One thing to note on the Stream Deck canvas is when you right click an empty or an occupied space. If you right click an empty space, you're able to create a folder, which allows you to create a new layout which you can quickly enter by pressing the folder icon and leave by pressing the back icon, which is found in the top left corner inside the folder. You can also create a multi-action, which allows you to combine several actions triggered either simultaneously or in a sequence, which allows for a myriad of possibilities. Be sure to check out our video on multi-actions, where we take more of a deep dive into them. And lastly, if you right-click an occupied space on the Stream Deck canvas, you have the ability to copy the action to another space, or you can move that action into a folder or a multi-action. Moving on, this bottom section here is called the Property Inspector. This is essentially how you customize your actions to doing exactly what you want them to. Each action's properties are different, but we clearly label the different settings you can set, so feel free to play around with all of the actions you add to your Stream Deck. For example, if I dragged a Change Scene action from the OBS category onto the canvas, we can see that I can select which collection and scene I'd like to change to when I press this action. Some options that are available for every Stream Deck action are the title text box here and this customized text icon so you can easily label your action to remember what it does. And lastly, we have the icon preview here for the action where you can customize it further. If you right click this icon or click this arrow here, you have two options. To set a new file, which essentially means uploading an image file to create a completely customized icon, or you can select Create New Icon, which opens up our Key Creator menu to allow you to create stunning Stream Deck icons without the need for Photoshop or any other software. Be sure to check out our video on Key Creator for more information on how to use it. Lastly, keep in mind that some Stream Deck actions have on and off states, so if you're using custom icons, you'll want to have an icon for each state. Now, if you add a custom image to the on state, which is the left one here, it will automatically create a dimmed version of that icon for the off state. However, feel free to completely customize your on and off icons whichever way you want. At the top left of the Stream Deck homepage is the device list and profile list found here. This is where you can cycle between the different Stream Decks if you own multiple of them, but it also allows you to add a mobile device in case you're using Stream Deck Mobile. Be sure to check out our video on setting up Stream Deck Mobile for more information on that. And the profile list allows you to easily change between profiles to suit your needs best. Profiles are essentially saved Stream Deck layouts, so you might have a Stream Deck profile which you want to use for streaming, and then you might have another profile which you'd use for Photoshop work. This list will let you easily switch between those two profiles in a snap. Be sure to check out our videos on both profiles and smart profiles to see how you can best use them to your advantage. At the bottom right of the home screen, we have the More Actions icon. If you click this, it'll take you to the Stream Deck plugin store. This is where you can add more plugins to your Stream Deck's action list so you can get the most out of your device. If you see a plugin you're interested in, simply click install and follow any on-screen prompts and it's as easy as that. Now those actions are visible in Stream Deck's action list ready to be added to your device. In this menu, you can also uninstall plugins as well. The last part of the home page is the preferences icon. If we click it, it will open up the preferences menu. And here we have three tabs. In the general tab, you can check for software and firmware updates, rename your Stream Deck devices, 
control whether you want your Stream Deck to sleep after a certain amount of time, and you can also adjust the brightness. In the Accounts tab, this is where you add your accounts for actions that require a login, such as Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and more. And lastly is the Profiles tab, where you can copy or rename profiles, you can move profiles from one Stream Deck to another, or you can even set up smart profiles. Again, be sure to check out our video on profiles and smart profiles for more information on these. And that should cover it for navigating the Stream Deck app. This video should give you a good foundation for being familiar with the program, so when you view more of our tutorials, you have an idea of where things are and where you'll need to go to access certain controls. But for now, start customizing your Stream Deck to get the most out of it. Thanks for watching, and as always, good luck and have fun.